Howdy everyone, Poacher here with an Age of Magic video. In today's video, I am going to do a comprehensive guide on the Battle Pass coming to Age of Magic. This will give you as much information as possible so you can make an informative decision on whether or not you want to buy it or not. In the end, you are adults. Doesn't matter what I say or do, you're an adult. Think for yourself, spend the money how you want. If you want to buy it, buy it. If you don't, don't. So what we've got on the screen here is the premium version of the Battle Pass. The Battle Pass will be released into the game as a free-to-play thing. It will be accessible to everyone. However, as well as the free-to-play version of the Battle Pass, it comes with a premium version as well that can be bought for $8.99. Now that is Australian, US to about $5.00. The premium one will give you all the benefits of the free version and it will give you more benefits, obviously. Um, so it will cost that. You cannot buy it with gold. You have to buy it with real life money. Again, I know people are already cringing at that, but wait, see what the battle pass includes and then you guys can make your decision. Now, what is the premium plus? The premium plus is $25.99. Uh, it includes the premium pass plus 20 levels into the battle pass. The battle pass has levels you need to go through to achieve the rewards. These aren't extra rewards. These are what you get th from those 20 levels. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to work in Age of Magic, but in other games, there is always the option to purchase levels, okay? If you have money and... Um, you don't have the time, you can buy this, it will boost you through the pass. Or if you have the money and you have the time, but you don't want to waste it, uh, you can buy this as well. It will boost you through the levels. So it's just a quick way of getting through the levels. Again, this is just the prices. I'm just showing it to you so you know. We're going to jump into the actual pass now. We've got a lot to cover. Um, and you can see what it includes. I do also want to apologize real quickly. I have tried, I'm horrible at math. I've tried to figure out everything um, possible. I've got some help from Balrog in the community as well. I'm going to show you all my working out and um, hopefully I'm right. I've probably made plenty of mistakes, but it will get you the idea of what's going to happen. So first up, how do you advance through the battle pass? I've tried to figure it out as best I can. Uh, the battle pass will have... 100 levels available to the free-to-play players and 201 levels for the premium pass. Uh, to gain a level, you need to earn 450 points. So I've added up everything you can earn in the 30 days the pass is available. It's a little, it's a, available to you a little longer than 30 days, but I've just cut it off at 30. So this is just a smidge behind. So. To get points, by spending one unit of regular energy and VOT energy, you will receive one battle point. 540 energy, regular, and VOT per day for free. That's what everyone gets per day for free if you collect your refreshes. Uh, that will net you 16,200 battle points for the 30 days. Uh, purchasing two times 50 energy packages adds another 240 energy per day capping out at uh, another 7,200 battle points. And if you purchase the two 100 energy refreshes as well, that will add another 7,200 to your total score. Uh, completing one stage in tier H gets you eight battle points. So 12 stages per day, that's 96 points per day. Uh, 96 points over the 30 days is gonna get you 2,880 battle points. One unit of raid energy is two battle points. So participating in five raid battles, so you get 50 energy a day. You get more, but I'm just doing the bare minimum. Uh, we'll get you 100 battle points. Uh, you can't open a raid every day of the um, of the month. So I'm just going to say six days. So I'm being a bit under the, um, the, the gun here. Uh, six days per week raiding, doing five nodes a minimum is going to get you 600 battle points. Do that over four weeks. That's another 2,400 battle points. Completing one challenge is eight battle points. So completing eight challenges a day over six days because on the Sunday, all the challenges are available. You net 64 points. Uh, six days, like I said, will get you 384 points. Over the four weeks is 1,536 points. Completing the 24 challenges on Sunday will net you 194 points for that one day. Do that four times over the uh, four weeks. And that's 768 extra battle points. So the total challenge points is uh, 2,304 battle points. Participating in one arena fight is 16 battle points. Five arena fights per day is 80 battle points. Over 30 days is 2,400. 
participating in one tournament fight is 16 battle points, uh, 40 tournament fights per tournament, 640 uh, points for a single tournament over the four tournaments available in the time the pass is available will get you 2,560 battle points. Completing all daily quests is 80 battle points. 80 points per day over 30 days is 2,400 battle points. So if you go premium and go completely free to play or even just regular, you don't need to go premium. Uh, so free to play buying no energy whatsoever is going to get you 31,144 battle points, getting you to level 69 in the battle pass. The two times 50 gold refreshes and... Um, and completing all these tasks will get you 38,344 battle points, getting you to the 85th level of the pass. And the 2 times 100 gold refreshes, as long as, as well as the 250 times, completing all tasks will get you 45,544 battle points, getting you 101 levels. So even buying the 4 refreshes a day is not going to get you to the end of the battle pass. That's not super important because you will see why in a moment when we go through the actual battle pass. So this is the battle pass. Um, let me get it up on my screen as well so I can mouse over it when I need to. Okay, so as you can see here is the free uh, pass at the bottom and this is the premium pass at the top. So when you purchase it, that will unlock and then you receive rewards for both. So the free-to-play players will receive this, the pay, uh, the premium players will receive this. So for example, if you're a premium player and you get to level two, you don't get 60 energy, you get 120. So I'm gonna slowly go through the battle pass, that way you guys can pause it whenever you want, have a look at it, but I've tallied everything for you. I'll show it to you all soon. I just, this is gonna be more specific if you wanna have a look at exactly what you're getting. So I'm not gonna go super slow because there's 201 levels. So we'll go through it all. You can see, you can pause it whenever you want. Like I said, I know this video is going to be long, but it, I am going to try and cover everything possible in it. So like I said, the players that buy premium will get the top rewards as well as the bottom, and the players that choose not to purchase the premium pass will receive only the rewards on the bottom tier. The uh, non-premium members will only get rewards up to level 101, or 100 sorry and the premium members can go all the way up to 200 so as you can see here uh 201 sorry as you can see here the uh the non-premium rewards cut off so the rewards kind of get cut in half but you're still getting some pretty decent stuff so going through going through and we are nearly at the end i'm going to speed it up here because um, hopefully you can pause it and get a good view of what the actual rewards are. What are we at to? Let's skim to the end. 201. So that is the battle pass. Now I'm going to go everything. I'm going to go over everything specifically and show you the value of everything. And uh, yeah, show you the what the pass is worth and what you're actually getting for buying the pass. So going over this battle pass, the hardest thing to do was to put a value on things in the game because it's pixels. How do you put a value on something that doesn't exist? Um, the best way I found to do this is to take the lowest value of the gold in the game. So the value isn't, you know, pushing up higher and higher. So what I've done is I've taken the $159.99 package I've divided the amount of money it takes to buy it versus the gold you get, giving me a total of one unit of gold is uh, one cent. One gold coin is one cent. That is how we are going to tally the value of everything in this battle pass. So moving on to the very first thing, we have the conversion of the premium shards. Now, what I mean by premium shards is... These are the shards you get for the new hero, uh, the new wild elf. I've already forgotten his name. So why do I have a picture of Hody here? So to get the value of the shards of the new hero, I've taken the value of the shards of the newest hero in the game from the shop and converted it over. So $29.99 for 50 shards gives me a rough uh, price of $0.46 cents per shard. So 
if you buy the battle pass, so what the green, yellow, and red means is the green is if you choose not to spend any, uh, buy any energy refreshes. The yellow is if you buy the 250 energy refreshes. And the red is if you buy the two 100 gold refreshes. So the battle pass with no refreshes is going to get you 95 shards of the new hero. This is all premium pass. I'm not calculating the free pass. This is all the premium pass. So the battle pass... Uh, no energy spent is going to get you 95 shards of the new hero, which equals about $43.70 if you were to spend that money in the game. Uh, 250 energy refreshes. I'm just going to say green, yellow, red. Uh, the yellow will get you 125 shards, equaling $57.50. And the red uh, will get you 135 shards, and that equals $62.10. I'm only stopping at level 100 because to go further than that, you either need to buy extra energy or you need to buy the boost. So that's completely up to you guys. If you want to do that, up to you. So the total value, if you buy, the total value is what you would get if you bought the 250 and the two 100s is going to get you $62.10 worth of shards. Like I said, this is just comparing to what you would spend in the game normally if you were to buy these things as they are sold in the game so moving on to the conversion of the random shards now what i mean by random shards is all the hero shards you get that aren't for the newest hero in the battle pass so i've just added them all together instead of me having to decipher every new different hero in there so how i've done this if, is i've taken the great chest of heroes i've gone through the fan page and i've found 10 images of people who have opened this chest and averaged it out and how many shards people are getting per chest. So it averaged out at 89.2 shards per chest. I've divided that by the cost of the chest itself, giving me a total of about 26 gold per champion shard you get from the chest. So with the green, you're getting about 125 shards. Oh, you are getting 125 shards, equaling 3,250 gold. Uh, in the yellow, you're getting 155 shards, equaling 4,130 gold worth of champion shards. In the red, you're getting 170 shards, getting to you a total of 4,420 gold, which equals about $44.20 worth of champion shards. Moving on to the conversion of gold. This is all the gold you get from the pass. Um, pretty simple. Yellow will get you 610 gold. Uh, green, sorry, will get you 610 gold equals six dollars and ten cents. Yellow will get you 700 gold from the pass. Uh, so seven dollars. So the gold alone, the gold alone is almost paying for the pass itself. If you were to buy the gold, instead of buying gold, you buy the pass. You get your your gold's worth anyway. So yellow is going to get you seven dollars worth of gold. Uh, yeah, seven dollars worth of gold and red is going to get you 790 gold so seven dollars 90 the total value would be seven dollars 90 for that moving on to the conversion of energy this is all the energy you get from the past so completing the levels you get energy as well so this is a this is a good one i've left this at the 50 gold so if you were only buying the 50 gold energy refreshes each day so 120 energy equals 50 gold so the green, you will get 1,680 energy overall up to level uh, 70. So that's 700 gold worth of energy. Uh, 90 Up to level 90 will get you 2,160 energy. So that's 900 uh 900 energy worth of 900 gold worth of energy and the red will get you 2400 energy which it gets uh, that's about 1000 gold worth of energy it is 1000 gold worth of energy uh the total value is ten dollars now remember this energy you use will go towards the levels in the battle passes so it's going to boost you a fair bit um so yeah i just wanted to keep that let you because it's pretty good it almost boosts itself it, it boosts you several levels moving on we've got the conversion of vot this is standing at the standard 100 gold to buy this um it is almost the ex it is the exact same price as the energy you're only buying two uh energy refreshes um no how did i do this it's the same uh so up to level 70 you'll get 840 vot so it's 700 gold 
uh, yellow 100 1080 VOT energy 900 gold and 1200 energy VOT energy for the red getting you 1000 gold so capping out at a, a value of ten dollars moving on we have and the VOT energy counts towards the pass as well so it's going to boost you even further energy uh, into the pass so the silver you get through the energy uh, the pass this was hard to calculate I went off the cheapest value i could find i could not get a accurate or barlog could not get an accurate estimation of the rng silver chests so i was able to get a photo of the chest that they sell to the community with real life money that was the most accurate uh, thing i could get i know it's 40 percent off but again i've tried to make the value as low as possible um to not yeah anyway so how i've done this is uh, we've divided 38.99 through 11 million, which gives us a very small amount of money per per unit of silver. We've tallied it up to the 100k. Uh, 100k worth of silver is worth uh, 35 cents. Um, so the green is going to get you 1. Point uh, 1 million 110k worth of silver for three dollars 90. the yellow is going to get you 1 million seven hundred twenty thousand silver for six dollars and the red is going to get you two million and twenty thousand silver for seven dollars and ten cents so capping out at seven dollars and ten cents worth of silver from this package moving on to the conversion of indigo runes again i've taken the great chest of heroes how we've done this is i've divided the cost of gold versus the runes giving me a total of uh 47 gold per one unit of indigo runes so each rune is worth 47 gold. i don't did i do that right yeah it's not worth yeah okay uh you guys know what i'm trying to do Anyway, uh, 12,000. So from level 1 to 70, you will get 12,000 indigo runes, equaling 5,640 gold. Yellow, 14,000 indigo runes, getting you 6,580 gold. 100 is going to get you 15,000 indigo runes, getting you 7,050 gold, equaling a total of $70.50. If you were to purchase gold in the game and buy these, you would be getting, you would have to spend roughly $70 to get the same value. So pretty good. Moving on, we have the conversion of skins. Now, uh, I'll explain this a bit later. I've put this at the end for a very specific reason because there is no way to get a um, an estimate on these. I had to just go off my own instinct. You get four skins in the pass. I've valued each skin at $15 because we know in Age of Magic, the skins can be quite pricey. So I've just gone for $15. And I know some of you aren't going to value these at all. And I've taken that into account in the next part of the video. So the skins are estimated at $15. In the green pass, you will get two skins for $30. In the yellow pass, you will stay at the same two skins. You don't advance, so it's still $30. And if you go all the way to level 100, you will get the four skins, all four skins, giving a total of $60, equaling $60 worth of skins. So if you were to buy these skins in-game, you would most likely, and this is a very, very generous uh, guess, you would mo most likely spend $60. You'd probably spend a lot more because Playcot, uh, <laughs> their, their skins are quite expensive. So $60 is very generous. Moving on, I've tallied it all out for you. Um, so the Battle Pass green version premium is going to get you a total of $156.60 worth of value. This is an estimate. Like I've said, I've just tried to figure out the best I can what the pass is actually worth. Uh, you could spend $156 and get close to that. Um, also, take into account through the Battle Pass, there's some skill cubes, experience potions, gear as well. I have not added that to the tally. So there is more stuff you're going to get as well, which increases the value of this pass. So I just haven't, I, it would just take too long to try and figure out all those small gritty, nitty gritty things. So all the main things will get you a total of $156.60 worth of stuff. If you add the skins, like I said, for those that aren't considering the skins worth anything, um, you, you're looking at a value of $216.60. Spending the 250 gold energy refreshes a day 
you're looking at a total of $195.60 worth of value with the skins $255.60. Buying both 50 gold energy refreshes and 100 gold energy refreshes, you're looking at a value of $211.80 with the skins on top $271.80. So I understand in why in my last video, some of you got quite aggressive towards me suggesting people buy the battle pass. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video is because I still 100% believe battle passes are worth it. I mean, my mass might not be 100%. I've been very generous in some areas of the battle pass as well. Um, this, this, Total value is a minimum of what you would spend trying to get these things in the game. Um, so, yeah, I know it's real life money, but for $8.99, and you guys know how much stuff costs in Age of Magic, for $8.99, this is everything you get. This is a tremendous amount of stuff for a low price. Um, and yes, I will 100% recommend any player in the game buy this pass, it will help your account tremendously. There has never been anything in Age of Magic that has been valued like this. Um, it's just as simple as that. Whether or not I enjoyed the game or didn't enjoy the game, biased or non-biased, you know, you can't look at this and say it's not worth it. $9, whatever, under $10 for all this stuff, it's, it's a steal. It really is. Like I said, though, you're an adult. You're a grown-up, you're a big boy, big girl, your money, do what you want. But I would recommend this to anyone, no questions asked whatsoever. I understand even by buying all four energy refreshes, you're not getting to the end of the battle pass. You're only getting halfway. But it's still, like, imagine what the value would be. Uh, that's the value of halfway. You'd probably, yeah. I. Uh, I don't know what else I can say, or if I have made any mistakes, please feel free to let me know. I'm not going to say I haven't made any mistakes. I'm sure I have, um, but the Battle Pass is a great thing coming to the game. It's cheap. Uh, you don't need to buy it. You're still going to get some stuff. It's obviously nowhere near as much as what you're going to get if you pay the $10 or a little under $10. So yeah, I'm sorry. I do. I, I love the Battle Pass. I love making this video. It took me a long time. Um, I'm just rambling at this point, but yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I really, really hope this video has helped you decide whether or not you want to buy it. Um, again, your choice. Do what you want. Thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will answer it to the best of my ability. And wherever you are in the world, until next time, please take care of yourself.